We have an emergency shelter, homeless shelter for homeless women and children here in Charlotte. We've been in here in this same spot since 1990. Mm. Um, really, every day, thinking of ways to make sure we can get women and children off the street, creating some new solutions, open up another shelter so we can house families, keeping our dads with our, our kids real proud of that mm -hmm. because that was something we couldn't do. Mm -hmm. So when people are homeless, this is the portal of entry here. We have case management, we got housing. People don't know we do housing. They think we just do shelter, but no. One of the things we know is that when people come into homelessness, we don't want them and their families and their kids to be here. Mm -hmm. So as we approach this year, another end of the school year, yeah. uh, getting ready to send our kids to our Boys and Girls Club, and hopefully we'll get these families housed before school starts next year. So when you yeah. talk about so, so it's easier if you have income and mm -hmm. have a job. Mm -hmm. We're in a good time right now because there are a lot of jobs out there. However, we move people out sometimes when you're looking for a job. Mm -hmm. We want you to be looking because we don't want you to move you into housing and you have to come back. So what that process is, is you come in, you meet with a case manager, you start working on a plan. We work together. It's a team. It's a team effort. It takes us both to be able to address this issue of homelessness. It's our 28-hour broadcast. We are posted up for 28 hours, meaning we're going to be here until 10 o'clock tomorrow, 534 Spratt Street, asking you to come off and give us 10. That's it. Give me 10. Just drop off $10 or more. Now, Deronda, how many residents do you have here right now? And exactly what does this money go to? So right now we have about 300 residents here at the Center of Hope. This money goes to pay for people. Our goal is to get people out of the shelter. So when people come in, we take care of everything from bus passes, um, all, you know, our case management services, but our goal is to get people out of the housing. Now, when we get people out of the housing, it takes more than just a house. Right, it right. takes subsidy, it takes housing goods, it takes first month rents, deposits. Sometimes for us, because we serve people that may have an eviction, we have to pay double deposits so a landlord can work with them. So I want to do a shout out to landlords. We need We need, job. We need, we job. need you all. We, we need got job. subsidy. Definitely need you all to be able to address this issue of homelessness. And Deronda, um, if people want to come up here and they don't, they aren't able to make a monetary donation, what is it? What else can they bring up here to the center? Yeah, so we have children here. So if people want to donate things like baby diapers, women personal hygiene items, uh, we really don't need a lot of clothing. We're right next door to crisis, so people can go next door. We're using every space here for shelter. Mm -hmm. So um, personal hygiene items, uh, socks. Um, baby diapers. What about um, like new toys? Like I see a young man with a basketball, like stuff like that. Do y'all take stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, we the kids? do. We do basketball, football, football stuff like that. Football, yeah. yeah. And yeah, also scholarship toys. opportunities, right? So if people have um, summer camps and things of that nature, they might be able to uh, offer some scholarship opportunities for our kids. Yeah, that would be great. Scholarship opportunities, child care opportunities, mm -hmm. anything we can do to be able to put our, get our kids into a positive environment this summer so they won't be stuck here at the shelter. Now, now Deronda, you spoke on something new that y'all do, allowing the fathers to stay. Because before, like we said, this is the largest women and children shelter. It was just women and kids. And, and sometimes, you know, if the dad is there, he has to leave. So now, y'all are letting dads come too. How, how is that working? So, yeah. So, we have a few rooms here. But we have, we purchased a hotel back oh, in January. Oh, dope. That's dope. Let's talk so, about it. Speak on it. So look at, we have, look at we, go. Listen, and that's still a shelter, right? <laughs> look at go. We have 100 Bought a whole units, hotel. 100 units that we are able to keep our dads with our kids, That's our mom, stuff. dads, and kids. Yeah, we're real excited about it. I want to say this too. Not only were we able to keep those moms and dads in that shelter, we were able to also put them in housing together. That's, awesome. that's real important, yeah, right? Keeping the family together. Keeping definitely. the family together, yeah. So, so Rhonda, I will say this. Uh, it is wonderful when we get done with our 28-hour broadcast and we'll be out in the community and we will get approached by women that have been in this shelter and they'll stop us and they'll say, thank you. I have transitioned out of the shelter and you all actually really use the money. You know, some people, sometimes people are cautious. They're like, right, where's, the, where's the money really going to? And we have been stopped by women and they're like, no, they really use the money to help us get out of this shelter. So the kudos to you and your staff, your team here for really helping these women, our, our neighbors. These are our neighbors yeah. and we have to be neighborly and to help these people out. So kudos to you all for the work that you all are doing here. Yeah, thank you. And speaking of work, we got job over this. <laughs> So, y'all got a job over <laughs> We got job over there. Y'all got part time. I might come in here and give me a job or something. I mean, we, I, yeah, I, I can watch over the people. 
we got part time, we got full time. So if homelessness is yeah. your passion, no, uh, yeah, give us give us a call. Come by. Talk, let's talk about it. No, let's go. Come on today. But yeah, you come today. You get your job today. Yeah. The Rhonda's here. <laughs> she might hire you right the now. The Madhouse is going to interview you. No, no. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Come sit down. No, I'm going to interview you. We're going to interview you. We got to no, make sure you're the right fit for no, Yeah, right. So, like, if you really got a passion about people, though, because mm -hmm. you got to have a passion about people that work in this type of environment and work in this type of field. But, Deronda, I want to ask you something about, um, you talked about housing and landlords. We don't speak to that point enough because they don't know, or they may not know that y'all actually have vouchers where y'all can pay for people's rent yeah. and stuff like that. So talk about that because it's a lot of, it's some landlords that listen to the show and they might not know, well, hey, you could take in somebody and they have, basically all their rent is taken care of. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do have vouchers and, so, and the challenge for us is making sure people don't lose those vouchers right. before they get in the house. And let me go a step further. We also partner with an organization, a housing collab, that also uh, provides incentives and bonus for landlords to work with our people. If you're afraid your unit might get damaged, we even have uh, dollars to be able to help with that. So we're trying to do everything we can to get people in the house. And it's a tough market out here in Charlotte because yeah. as we know the rents are going up and affordable units are uh, going away, but we, we're working at it and still housing more people than ever. We just need more housing. I need, I need to call Miss Judy, my mama. Yeah, she got some houses somewhere. She can put some people in. Mama, come come talk to Mr. Ron so we can get some of these people in some of these houses. Uh, <laughs> not nah, for real though. Like, no. you know what I mean? So because it's it's about moving people forward in life. And you know, everybody has or might run into a situation where they need somebody to help them move forward in life. So if you could be that, especially if you're a landlord, you you are a, a private owner. Like take a chance on somebody. At least take a chance. So we have a lot of people that can come out and support our 28-hour broadcast. We're just asking the community to come out here. Give me 10. Give me 10. That's, that's what we're asking you. But if you're a landlord, come on out here. We would love to talk to you. If you're interested in a job, come on out here. We would love to talk to you. Just come out here for our 28-hour broadcast. We love this event. We really love engaging with our neighbors and, and helping them out. 28-hour broadcast, 534 Scratch Street. You're going to see us. We're sitting right here at the opening. As soon as you pull as in, soon you got to see front. Shout out to my man DJ Sharp. Just, pulled just up. walked up. <laughs> just dropped off a couple of jeans in the, in the bucket. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Repre <laughs> he's representing for the barbers, too, man. So he's, Shark is actually, he owns his own barbershop. Mm -hmm. So shout out to him, man. He does a lot of stuff. And, you know, I would say used to work with us, but he still worked with us. <laughs> he forever. He ain't going nowhere. He's forever with us. Uh, it's no little Larry in the morning madhouse. If you want to make a donut, do y'all have a cash app? That's what somebody asked. So we don't have a cash okay. app. How, however, we do have, we do take credit cards over um, through our um, development Order. department. Okay. Okay. And so. you can connect to that through our website. So just go to power98fm.com. You can make your donation there if you can't make it out here. But listen, if you need to come at three o'clock in the morning, we're we'll going to be posted up so you can come and bring your money down. Yeah. Posted. And if you want to cash out, you can cash out me. And I'm no, 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 no. That's no, not how we're going to do that. That's not how, that's not how we're going to do that. No, I, I'm gonna I, I mean, I trust no. you, but I'm that's not how we're going to do that. There's some legalities <laughs> behind that, so we're not going to oh, do that. Yeah, well, we're not going to we do that. We're going to buy it by them roof. So sure. thank you, Mr. Robin. <laughs> Look, I don't got an all side track. Thank you. I'm just trying to get the money. I'm just thank trying you. to get the money. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get the 10. Thank you. Thank it's you, the blood, man. It's about 98. Thank you all. <laughs>